92 rolling here, man. I'm up here at Tiger Muffler at Autos Truck Services Accessories. And I'm getting my five inch tips put in. And they're cutting my pipes and stuff now, as you can see, you know. So I've been waiting on this for a long time. I finally just got my tips in uh, today. Uh, which is the 7th of uh, August. Uh, I ordered my tips. I ordered some other tips, matter of fact, a couple of weeks ago. And one tip didn't look like the other one. They both was cut different. So I had to uh, change them up. And I sent one back. See if I can get the same tip that I already had, which was the one that I wanted, the way it looked. And they sent me the same tip again. So I had to send them both back, get a credit. And had to reorder some other tips. So I had to think about it. And I was looking at a lot of different tips. A lot of a lot of friends of mine, they got the carbon tips. Carbon tips is nice. Um, but, you know, I just, you know, like I said, I always try to be a little different. So I was looking for a different style and I wanted more of a pointed shape. I just didn't want like a circular shape, which looks good on a lot of cars, but I wanted like a little point to them. So I chose these tips that I got here. Um, I can't remember the name of them, but matter of fact, I think they are tarbin or carbon, something like that, you know. And uh, oh, I got an ambulance coming. You know, it don't stop. Uh, they some name on there. Uh, I'll show you a picture or whatever, and, and then I got them off of uh, Amazon. And I paid $55 for these. These are stainless steel. They shiny chrome, uh, guaranteed for life. Uh, so they look real good on there. So they're gonna look real massive on the back of this car. So I can't wait to see them on there. I already handheld it up there and looked at it and it looks great. So I'm just can't wait until they uh, weld the tips on. Uh, I think your factory tips, uh, factory exhaust pipes is like 2.7 inches and my tips are three and a half inlet and five inch out. So they got to get a certain pipe to adjust to my pipe on my car to weld the tip on and then put the tip out. So that's basically what they're doing right now. Uh, then again, I say it's Pops, Tiger Muffler, uh, right here in Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, I've been recommended by this guy. This guy do good, good, good work. He's an old timer, so he's been around for a while. So um, those are the people you want to do business with, people that's been doing it for years, you know, because they got experiences. They can tell you the do's and don'ts. They can tell you what'll work for you, what don't work for you, what looks good, what don't look good. So I'm going off a lot of word of mouth coming here. So hopefully he'll do a good job. So they're in the process of cutting a lot of the wire and stuff now. I mean, not wire, but piping now so they can put it on there. So I hit you guys back and I'll show you the results and I'll give you a full walk around. These are the tips that I went with. See, it has like a little pointed shape. I kind of like that. Three and a half inch back, five inch outlet, three and a half inch inlet. So I think these will look real nice. So what it's doing is he had to hit a pipe with this same space and weld it onto a smaller pipe to where they can fit on my car. So that's basically what he's doing now. So he's fitting it on there and getting it straight.
get an idea of what it looked like. I don't have these sticking out as far as the other ones, just so much. Right there. It's fine. Right there. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Right there. The purpose of even getting five inch tips is they look massive, they make the car look more aggressive, you know, and I think that's the length I'm gonna go with. And then see the name on top. I don't know if it'll focus, but that's the name there on top. But uh, as you can see, the difference in having a five inch tip and make the car look way more aggressive looks really nice. These are my old tips, you know, four inch tips. Can you see how long the tip is? Uh, the guy that put them on said if you had like a longer tip, it gives it a distinctive sound, which it did. It gave it a, a unique sound. But I noticed all the guys had five inch tips. So I was like, man, I need to give me some five inch tips. So. Amongst me doing a lot of other upgrades like my spoiler and my rear diffuser and front two splitter, two piece splitter and all this other stuff I was doing, I finally got around to getting my tips. So I'm getting those installed today and they look really good, man. I'm really happy with the way it looks. It makes the whole car look a whole lot different. And it is hot out here. <laughs> so. I just got off work. I haven't even, I think I went home and took a shower and then my stuff came in the mail. So I left right back out to go get these on. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go to Long John Silver's, which I've been craving, get something to eat. And then I'm off for the weekend as far as working is concerned. And then I'm gonna go back to work Sunday night around 10. So I'm gonna try to relax. But at the same time, I'm trying to get stuff done and create video for you guys. So, I'm just gonna hang tight, and then once he get the other tip on, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it looks. Another thing I wanna address is this. This car is a 2017, so it did not come with this. It only had them on the side of the car with the 392. And I just wanna clear this up because a lot of people think I'm up badging my car, but I'm not up badging. When scat packs first came out, it was called the Bumblebee, okay? And as the years went on and they came out with the newer scat packs, I'm sorry you can't hear me, he's back there cutting the pipe, that they started calling these RT scat packs. So a lot of people just don't, they don't know that. They called these RT scat packs, so they didn't come with this. They only had these inside the car, in the front front of the grill, and on the side of the car. They only had this. I ordered these emblems and put them on here, and that's what I wanted on there. I could have took this off and put that on there, and y'all wouldn't know the difference. But the thing is, I'm different than everybody else, and I wanted this on there, but I also wanted that on there. So I'm not up badging the car because the car was already a scat pack, RT scat pack as it is. I got a 392 engine. So, just want to clear that up. What they doing now is making sure the edges don't touch the rear diffuser, because those tips, it's hot, you know, when the car is on and driving. And it's known to melt the ring onto your diffuser. It's known to melt, melt that a lot of the time. So he's making sure that the pipe or the tip doesn't touch the diffusion in any kind of way and keep it from melting or whatever. So that's what they're doing now.
And this is the man right here. Twenty years in the business, so he's the expert. It just makes the whole car look different with bigger tips on it. I think for the amount of room that I have left, I think I could have went with a six inch. So who knows, in the future, I might look into a six inch tip and put on there and make it even bigger. I think six is probably the biggest you can probably go. But they do have some eight and 10 inches, but that's not gonna fit on there. But uh, it look nice, man. It makes the whole car look nice. Make sure you subscribe, 392 Roller. Hit the like button. Got a lot of car content. I'm gonna have a Q&A video coming up. I'm also gonna have 10 things that I don't like about this car. And I'm gonna have 10 things that I like about this car. So those are future videos that I got in the works. And just stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit the like button. Uh, I just got my decals on my car, on my spoiler, and I got them on the side, on the window. You might not can see it. My decals there, my IG, and my YouTube channel. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. Look real nice. Got right off work, like I said before, went home. My box is there on the porch. They already emailed me and said they delivered it. Went in the house, took a shower, dumped some clothes, came right up here. Looks nice. Well, I got sweat pulling out my face. I'm gonna take a little intermission and wipe my face and stuff off, and I will show you the guys the results after they finish, because it's gonna be, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 more minutes. They're trying to get it straight and sturdy now. They keep asking me, is it love, is it straight, and is it even? So uh, I'll get back with you guys again. Now you see my car is finished. See the tips. Looks very nice. Very aggressive. Here at Pot Pops Tiger Mufflers. Auto truck accessories 239-656-6361. They are responsible for that. And this is the man right here. As you see, he says, I'm just gonna nod and act like I'm listening. So <laughs> There's a guy that's been doing it so long that he don't even have to, he don't have to do nothing. He just look at him, he be like, yes, no. So this is the guy that's, that's responsible. Here's his helper here, man. I really appreciate these guys. Come down to Pops Tiger Mufflers. 
and car mufflers, auto accessories, and you can get your car hooked up like he did mine. So I will probably do a lot more work with these guys on some engine work and stuff. These guys do a real good job. He stayed late for me, which I appreciate it because we had some trouble getting off the ramp, but you know what? They did it for me. I really appreciate it, man. All right, bro. Thank you. So uh, now I got to go pay these guys. So uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and look for more content that I'm going to come with in the future. Peace.